Hey guys, Craft Farms here. So I just wanted to do a little thing. Um, so I'm getting ready to work on a map uh, for Farm Sim. Um, I downloaded Giants Editor on my mom's old PC. It's an old laptop, but it uh, unfortunately does not have enough a uh, high enough graphics card uh, to run Giants Editor. So that will not work, um, and tomorrow, well, it's, this is right after the farm update and it's midnight. Um, uh, in the morning, we're going to look and see how much space is on the other computers, and she's going to see about letting me put it on one of those so I can work on it. Um, there will be some pics in the end of this video. I'll, I took some Google, I took some screenshots while on Google Earth here on my phone. And I'll put them together in Flipagram, and I'll add them to the end of the video. Um, it's the farm is going to be an all-grain farm. There will be no cows, no chickens, no sheep, none of that stuff. Um, so if you guys want that kind of stuff, you're going to have to go in and mod the map yourself. Um, I'm. It's going to have all the standard fruits, you know, the wheat, barley, canola, corn, sun, uh, sugar beets, and potatoes. Which, sugar beets and potatoes are grown around here, um, and so is barley and corn. So all those standard crops are grown around here, but the bar the sugar beets and potatoes just aren't as common. Um, I plan on adding oats and soybeans as well, um, and maybe sorghum. Uh, there's not that many people that grow sorghum, but I'll probably add it in. Uh, Serious Mods, um, he's a great guy. Uh, he has been very helpful to me. Um, I was talking to him and uh, talking to him through emails on American Eagles modding in the um, PM section, and he helped me out with a lot of questions I had. Um, he is currently making a Batco uh, grain auger, uh, one of those, you know, one of the belt conveyors, and um, I'll add a picture to that at the end too. And that's really really sweet um he said that he's getting close to doing the scripting on it so hopefully by the end of this month it should be out um and the reason i'm really excited for this auger is because one it's a grain auger for farm sim that's movable and two because that means that with this map i'm making you know it's of my papa's farm which i call my grandparents nan on papa and so my mom's stepdad's farm. Um, and they don't have, you know, a big suck up grain bin uh, set up like the one on American Eagles that you have to assemble. It's bins. And so I'm really glad that Sirius is making this. Um, and that's going to be really, really helpful for me. So, um, yeah. And then, uh,. There'll be other, there's, so there's, let's see, there's one. There's eight to ten bins in the main farmyard. And all those ones um, are fillable by the person playing. And then there's, there are four bins um, over by the, it's called Tenvik, but really all it is is like three houses, um, including one that uh, my papa owns. And there's an elevator there that he owns. You know, it's just storage for him, though. But in the game, that'll be a selling point. There'll be a selling point at that elevator at Tenvik. And then in the town, Linton, with Linton, Linton, however you want to say it. I say it Linton. Um... And that's what the map's going to be called, is Linton, North Dakota. Uh, and so then the elevator in Linton will be another selling point, and there will be a John Deere dealership just on the other side of Linton, um, which is that way in real life. Um, there will be, there's a little building with fuel in it um, that, you know, you'll be able to, and there will be a lot of map door triggers on it, uh, because there's a lot of the shops. Um, all the shops I'll have to build myself, 
because there aren't any already made that will work. Um, I'm hoping to get it into a standard size map. If not, it'll be probably a four times map. I'm hoping that it'll just be a standard size. Um, it won't have the really, really cool buildings from American Eagles, the American buildings, because, you know, I'm making it an almost exact, exact replica, but, um, yeah, it'll be pretty cool. Um, if you go to the link below, uh, to my modding team website, there's, um, the work in progress mods section in the forum. Uh, if you go there, there'll be updates on that, and I'll also make videos. <coughs> Sorry, my throat's getting dry. Um, there'll be videos on this channel, on the KF Modding channel, and I'll upload this exact same video to the KF Modding channel. Um, and there'll be pictures on my Instagram and the Modding Team Instagram as I go along. Um, and I'll do another update as soon as I figure out you know, where I'm going to be able to get the Giants Editor on, you know, if I'll be able to get it on my mom's computers or not, um, which hopefully I will, um, hopefully I can at least get it on the laptop and take the laptop with me tomorrow to my grandma's where I'm going to stay for the day, um, while they go hiking, um, where, I, well, I'm hoping to stay there because, not a really big fan of hiking, but, um, so then I could, you know, get work done on it, um, but yeah, so, thanks for watching, like, comment, share, subscribe, and see you guys later.